Greetings from all of our family. And from uh, the Baptist Church in Poland in Gdansk. I pozdravljam vas Baptistička crkva u Poljskoj iz Gdanska. Um, it is amazing to be here today. Čudesno je biti danas ovdje. Um, we have wanted to come for a long time. Već duže vremena željeli smo doći. But um, since I was a pastor and a missionary, we didn't have any money. Ali budući da sam ja pastor i misionar, nismo imali novca. And so we heard that there was a meeting here and we said, yes, we want to come. Pa kad smo čuli da je sastanak ovdje, rekli smo, da, želimo doći. Um, wow, um, it's been 13 years since we were here. Prošlo je 13 godina od kako smo zadnji put bili ovdje. Um, Elizabeth is now 22. Elizabeth sad ima 22 godine. And um, she just finished college, university. And um, she is back in Gdansk right now. And um, we will take her back to America next year and hopefully she will have a job. Uh, Matthew is in university now in America. Matthew je na fakultetu u Americi. And um, both of them are sad that they can't come with us now. I ovo je su tužni što nisu mogli doći s nama. Um, did I forget anything that I need to say to begin? Okay. Ništa nisam govorio. Um I want to um, talk to you today about being disappointed. Uh, danas sam želim govoriti o razočaranju. Um, probably you've been disappointed before. And the worst time is when you're disappointed with God. When you think God will do one thing and He doesn't do it. Um, in America a few years ago everyone uh, had bracelets prije par godina u Americi svi su imali narukvice that said uh, what would Jesus do na kojima je pisalo što bi Isus učinio and what I discovered in my life i ono što sam ja kroz svoj život otkrio je is that I always know what Jesus should do da ja uvijek znam što bi Isus trebao napraviti um, if it makes sense to me it should be good for him to do jer ako to meni ima smisla, onda bi to bilo dobro da on napravi. But he is much wiser than I am. <laughs> Ali on je mudriji od mene. But when we think God will do something and he doesn't. Međutim, kad mislimo da će Bog nešto napraviti, onda on to ne napravi. Um, sometimes we can be very confused. E, ponekad možemo biti jako zbunjeni. Uh, maybe you thought that God would heal someone and instead they died. Možda ste mislili da, bi, da će Bog nekog ozdraviti, međutim uh, taj netko umre. Or maybe you thought that God was going to give you a wonderful job, but instead you lost your job. Ili možda mislite da će vam Bog dati jedan super posao, međutim umjesto toga izgubite posao. And you say, God, I, I don't understand what you're doing. Pa kažete, gospodine, ne razumijem što to radiš. Um, I want to share with you a story in John 11. Danas ću s vama podijeliti priču iz Ivanovog evanđelja 11. glava. And I want to um, to show you uh, some principles that I hope will help you. Pa se nadam da će vam pomoći principi koji ću vam pokazati. Um, we'll start in John 11 um, in one, verse 1, 1 to 3. Počet ćemo sa 11. glavom Ivanovog evanđelja, stihovi od 1 do 3. Um, yeah, you can, that'd be great. Bijaši neki bolesnik, Lazar iz Betanije, iz sela Marije i sestre joj Marte. A Marija, koja je bolovaše brat, brat Lazar, bijaše ona što je mi o mirisnom pomasti pomazala gospodina i svojom kosom otrla noge. I sestre poslaše k Isusu glasnika da mu rekne, gospodine, bolestan je onaj koga ljubiš. Let's pray and then we'll look at this story. 
Father, thank you that um, your word is true. And thank you that it, um, it is real. It, um, it applies to our lives. Father, I pray that you would uh, remind us of your power today. And I ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Jesus was very close to Lazarus and his sisters. Um, they were not strangers. Um, he was often in their home when he was near their town. And so they were very close friends. And so Mary and Martha, when their brother became sick, obviously they called for Jesus. In fact, in, in English, in verse 3, it says, So the sisters sent word to him. The, in other words, it was a, of course they would send for Jesus. Because they knew that he loved Lazarus. And they knew that he could heal anyone. So of course he would come. And yet he didn't come. Um, verses 4 to 6. The sisters were completely confused. They sent word for Jesus. It's very important. Come quickly. And Jesus heard the news. And for two days he did nothing. Nothing. It wasn't that he was too busy to come. He just didn't come. And for the sisters, this was so confusing. We know this because when he finally does come later, Martha meets him, and she says, Jesus, if you had come, my brother would be alive. And then Mary meets him, and she says the same thing. Jesus, if you had only come, my brother would not have died. In fact, everyone is confused. Because the Bible says later in the story that all of the people around them, they all said, Jesus can heal the blind. But why couldn't he help Lazarus? It didn't make sense. But Jesus explains why he waited. And when I began to study this, I began to get very excited. Here is his answer in verse 4. <laughs> Jesus said, this, this sickness will not end in death. Now, Lazarus may die in, the, in, in between, but in the end he will be alive. Možda će umeđu vremenu Lazar umrijeti, ali na kraju će biti živ. 
But he said it is happening for God's glory. Ali rekao je da se sve to događa za slavu Božju. So that through Lazarus sickness the son of God will be glorified. Tako da se kroz Lazarovu bolest proslavi sin Božji. Now there are two things to understand about what he says. Dvije stvari ovome što on govori moramo razumjeti. One is the context. I jedna prva stvar je kontekst. And I'll show you that. I to ću vam ubrzo pokazati. And the second is what does he mean when he says the son of God will be glorified? A druga je ono što podrazumijeva pod tim kad kaže da će se proslaviti sin Božji. When you read all of the gospel of John. Kad čitate svo Ivanovo evanđelje. You find that God uh, that John is is trying to emphasize certain things in the story. Vidite da Ivan pokušava kroz priče naglasiti određene stvari. He can't write everything that Jesus said. Ne može zapisati baš sve što je Isus rekao. And so he's he's picking specific things so that we understand what he's saying. Pa on bira specifične stvari da bismo razumjeli što on govori. And one of the things that he emphasizes is the fact that um, the people in Jesus day were continually more angry with him, the rulers. Uh, a jedna od stvari na koju stavlja poseban naglasak je ta da je u Isusovo vrijeme su ljudi bili sve više i više ljuti na njega. Uh, the Jewish leaders throughout the book of John are getting angrier and angrier. Uh, židovski vođe kroz cijelo Ivanovo evanđelje postaju sve više i više ljudi. And another thing he emphasizes I druga stvar koju naglašava je is that Jesus uh, avoids confrontation da Isus izbjegava sukob until it's time for him to die. Sve do trenutka kad dolazi vrijeme uh, da umre. So I want to show you both of those pa ću vam to pokazati. And um, and then we'll go back to what Jesus said. So chapter seven. Dakle, u sedmom poglavlju. Um, verses one to six. Posle toga Isus je obilazio Galileju. Nije najme htio ići po Judeji, jer su ga židovi nastojali ubiti. Bješe pak blizu židovski blagdan Sjenica. Tada mu rekoše braća njegova, otiđi odavde, te idi u Judeju, da ti da i tvoji učenici ondje vide tvoja dijela što ih činiš, jer nitko tko želi javno biti poznat ne djeluje skriveno. Ako već činiš takva dijela, pokaži se svijetu. U istinu, ni braća njegova nisu vjerovala u njim. Tada im Isus reče, moje vrijeme još nije došlo, za vas je uvijek zgodno vrijeme. Did you hear what Jesus said? His brothers said, "Go to Jerusalem and be famous. Let everyone hear you." And Jesus said, "It's not the time yet." Um, verse eight. Ja ne uzlazim na ovaj blagdan jer se još nije ispunilo moje vrijeme. He says it again. I ovdje to opet kaže. It's not time yet. Još nije vrijeme. He's waiting for something. Ono nešto čeka. And then um, in verses 9 and 10 we won't read them. U 9. i 10. stihu. Um, he goes to Jerusalem but secretly so that no one knows he's going. Odlazi u Jeruzalem, ali potajno tako da nitko ne zna da je otišao. He doesn't want to be the center of attention yet. Još uvijek ne želi biti u centru pažnje. He's waiting for something. Čeka nešto. And so he says it's not my time yet. I onda kaže nije moje vrijeme. Um, now halfway through the feast in Jerusalem. I uh, negdje oko pola uh, slavlja je već prošlo u Jeruzalem. Uh, he begins to teach openly in Jerusalem. On počinje poučavati otvoreno. And in verse 30 it says, well you can read it. U 30. stihu kaže: Otac su ga nastojali uhvatiti, ali ipak nitko ne stavi ruke na, jer još ni jer još ne bijaše došao njegov čas. They try to kill him. 
Pokušali su ga ubiti. Now they're not very organized. A nisu baš dobro organizirani. But they get really angry and, and they want to kill him. Ali ako su ljuti žele ga ubiti. But they didn't. Ali nisu. Because it wasn't time yet. Zato što još nije bilo vrijeme. Chapter 8. Um, he is he is arguing with the Jewish leaders or they are arguing with him. Uh, Ove je riječi rekao u blagajni dok je poučavao u hramu, pa ipak nitko ga ne uhvati jer još ne bijaše došao njegov čas. Do you think John wants us to hear that phrase? Mislite li da Ivan želi da čujemo ovu frazu? It wasn't time yet. Još nije bilo vrijeme. And then uh, 52 and 53. 52 i 53. Židovi mu rekoše, sad nam je jasno da si obsjednut zlim duhom. Abraham je umro. Proroci isto tako, a ti kažeš, ako tko drži moju riječ, sigurno neće nigda okusiti smrti. Zar si ti veći od našeg oca Abrahama, koji je ipak umro, i proroci pomriješe, kim se ti praviš? And 58 and 59. I uh, 58, 59. Isus im odvrati, zaista, zaista kažem vam, prije nego je Abraham bio, ja jesam. Tada digoše kamenje da ga bace na njega, ali Isus se sakri i izađe iz hrama. So, again, they get angry and they want to kill him. I ponovno su se naljutili i žele ga ubiti. But it's not time for Jesus to die. Ali još nije vrijeme da Isus umre. Because the Bible says that he is the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. And he was going to die on the cross at the time of Passover. And so it's not time for him to die. And so over and over he says, it's not my time. I zato on neprestano ponavlja, još nije vrijeme. And so his disciples are watching him. A njegovi učenici ga promakraju. And they see that when the Jews try to kill him, he says, no, it's not my time, and he leaves. I primjećuju da kad židovi ga žele ubiti, on kaže, još nije moj vrijeme i odlazi. And so when the word comes that Lazarus is sick, pa kad je stigla vijest da je Lazar bolestan, um, Mary and Martha are surprised that Jesus doesn't come immediately. Maria i Marta su iznenađene što Isus odmah ne dolazi. But the disciples are not surprised. Ali učenici nisu iznenađeni. In fact, when Jesus says, "Let's go," after two days, he says, "Let's go." U stvari kad Isus kaže nakon dva dana čekanja idemo. They say, "Jesus, you don't want to go there, do you?" Oni kažu pa nije valjda da želiš ići tamo. Um, it's in uh, John 11, 7 and 8. U sedmom i osmom stihu. Istom tada reče učenicima, hajdemo opet u, u Judeju. Rabi, rekoše mu učenici, pa sad su te židovi htjeli kamenovati, a ti ponovo ideš onom. So Jesus is confusing everyone. Tako da, Isus zapravo zbunje svih. His disciples don't understand why he wants to go back to Bethany. And Mary and Martha don't understand why he waits. But he tells us why he waits. He says, I am waiting so that the Son of God will be glorified through the sickness of Lazarus. Čekam da, se, uh, da bi se proslavio Sin Boži kroz Lazarovu uh, bolest. Now, we don't have time to go through all of the times in John that the, the idea of being glorified is found. Nemamo uh, vremena uh, 
pobrojati sve, svaki put kad se spominje proslavljanje Božjeg Sina u Ivanovom evanđelju? Um, John uses the, the idea of Jesus being glorified to speak about the crucifixion. Uh, Ivan uh, kad govori o proslavljanju uh, Sina Božjega uh, govori zapravo o rasteću Isusa koji se ima da In fact, even Isaiah in the Old Testament when he speaks of the crucifixion uses the word glorified. Čak i Izaja u starom uh, zavjetu kad spominje, uh, kad spominje uh, raspeće uh, govori zapravo o proslavljanju. Um, if you look in John 12:23. Uh, this is after Lazarus has been raised. Now you should notice two things in that verse. For the entire book, Jesus has been saying, it's not time, it's not time. And now he says, it's time. And he says, it's time that I will be glorified. And in the book of John, that speaks of the crucifixion. Um, in fact, Jesus, right after that, in verse 24, explains what he means. <coughs> so Jesus has begun now to talk about the crucifixion. Um, in fact, even when he prays to his father in John 17, he says, Father, now the time has come. So there is a major change in the book of John until chapter 11, Jesus is saying, it is not time. It's not time for me to be glorified. After chapter 11, he's saying, it's time for me to be glorified. And right in the middle is this story of Lazarus. And I am convinced that Jesus knew that when Lazarus was raised, it would be a huge miracle. And that everyone would know about what he was doing. And so he says, I'm waiting so that through the sickness of Lazarus, I will be glorified. There were two things that that made him wait, I think. You remember that he waited two days. Why two days? Well, when he arrived in Bethany, Lazarus had been in the grave for how many days? Four. That's important. In Jesus' day, some Jews thought this. They thought whenever you died, for four days your spirit would come back every day to see if your body was still dead. And if after four days your body was still dead, your spirit would give up and decide you were dead. 
So there was this, this important time after four days someone was really dead. I zato je jako važno da nakon perioda od četiri dana taj mrtvac stvarno bio mrtav. And so Jesus waits until there is no doubt that Lazarus is dead. I zato Isus čeka da bi svi bili uvjereni kako je Lazar zaista mrtav. He does it on purpose. I to radi namjerno. Because he wants this miracle to be something that no one can argue about. Zato što želi da ovo čudo bude nešto što nitko neće moći osporiti. Another reason I think he waited. Drugi razlog zašto mislim da je čekao. Is because now after four days there are so many people here. Jer nakon četiri dana tu je već jako puno ljudi. Um, you can read a verse 18 and verse 31 of 11. Stih 18 kaže Betania bijaše blizu Jeruzalema od prilike 15 stadija. Oh, it's 19 too. Sorry. Mnogi židovi bijaku došli k Marti i Mariji da ih tješe zbog brata Nikola. And 31. I 31. A židovi koji bijaku s Marijom u kući i koji su je tješili kad vidješe da se ona brzo diže i izađe, pođuše za njom uvjereni da ide na grob plakati. So there are a lot of people. Dakle, gomila je ljudi. And they all follow Mary to the grave. So when Jesus raises Lazarus, it's not a secret miracle. Everyone knows that Lazarus is dead. And everyone is there to see him come out. Um, Jesus does this, I believe, on purpose. Remember, he said that through the sickness of Lazarus, he would be glorified or crucified. And if you read the rest of chapter 11, you hear this story. Um, a lot of the Jews who saw him raised they began to tell people what happened. And everyone is talking about this incredible miracle. And some of them go to the Pharisees and they say, this is what happened. And the Pharisees have a meeting of the Sanhedrin, of the council. And they decide that they have to kill Jesus. Uh, it's in verse 53 of chapter 11. <coughs> so Jesus said, because of the sickness of Lazarus, I'm going to be glorified. I kad Isus kaže, zbog Lazarove bolesti ću se proslaviti. And now, because Lazarus has been raised, the Sanhedrin says we have to do something about Jesus. Pa zbog Lazarovog uskrsnuća, veliko vječe odlučuje da mora napraviti nešto po tom pitanju, po pitanju Isusa i ubiti ga. And to show you the impact that it had, let me show you a couple of verses in chapter 12. I da bih zaista pokazao koliko je to snažno utjecalo, pogledajmo u 12. stih nekoliko, u 12. poglavne nekoliko stihova. 9 to 11. 9 do 11. Mnogi židovi doznaše da je Isus ondje te dođoše ne samo radi Isusa, već da vide i Lazara koga uskrisi od mrtvih. Tada glavar svečenički odlučiše ubiti i Lazara, jer su ih mnogi židovi zbog njega ostavljali i vjerovali u Isusa. And 17 to 19. I 17 do 19. Narod koji je bio s njim kad je Lazara pozvao iz groba i uskrisio ga od mrtvih, svjedočio je njemu u krivo. Zato mu je narod izišao u susret što je čuo da je učinio to čudo. Tada farizeji rekoše jedan drugome, vidite da ništa ne postižete, evo sam svijet ode za njim. 
All of this happened right before the Passover. When would Jesus die? At the Passover. And so for his whole ministry he is saying it is not time, it is not time. And when, when Lazarus is sick, he waits. And Jesus waits so that it is a huge miracle. It is viewed by many, many people. And now the Jews who have kind of been angry with him, now they've decided we have to kill him. And look one more time at verse uh, 11, chapter 11 and verse 4. Pogledajmo još jedan, još jedan put u 11. poglavlje četvrti stih. Ova bolest nije smrtonosna, odgovor Isus kad to ču, već je određena za slavu Božju, da proslavi Sina Božjega. So Jesus knew why he was waiting. Isus je znao zašto čeka. It was not an accident. Nije to bilo slučajno. He was determined to die on the cross. Bio je odlučan umrijeti na križu. He knew that the time had come. He knew that raising Lazarus would cause such a such a problem that they would decide to kill him. So two lessons from, from that story. Mary and Martha could never have understood Jesus' reason for waiting. Marija i Marta nikad ne bi mogle razumjeti zašto Isus čeka. They didn't understand that he would die on the cross. Nisu mogle razumjeti da će umrijeti na križu. So even if he had explained to them, here is why I'm not healing Lazarus, they could never have understood. Čak i da ih je posio i objasnio im, evo zato, one ne bi mogle razumjeti. That's true all through the Bible. I to je istina kroz cijelu Bibliju. Things that happen in the life of Joseph. Or Abraham or David. Even if God had explained them, they wouldn't have understood. But somehow I think I would always understand if God would just explain. So here's the first lesson. God is always doing more in your life than you understand. Sometimes you will be like Mary and Martha. And you will say, God, I don't understand. Why didn't you do something? Why did you let this happen to me? And I believe faith is understanding that I don't have to understand. Faith is knowing God understands. And sometimes that's enough. Always that's enough. But sometimes that's all we have. So when you're discouraged, when you're depressed, when you thought God would do one thing and He didn't do it, and the enemy tells you, see, He doesn't love you, you should walk away from Him. I hope you'll remember this story. Because the Bible makes it very clear that Jesus did love Lazarus and Mary and Martha. But he was accomplishing something very, very big, the salvation of the world. And they could never understand that. Uh, the second lesson um, is something about Jesus. Um, 
We live in a culture in Poland that is in some ways similar to uh, the culture here. And sometimes I talk to people and the picture that they have of Jesus goes something like this. Jesus is very great um, but he's kind of far away and so I need someone to go to him and try to convince him that he should help me. And so in their minds Jesus is is very far, very distant. And so, and so they need someone else to go and, and convince him to help. Uh, it may be Mary. It may be the priest. But what they don't understand is what is shown in this story. Jesus loved Lazarus. He loved Mary and Martha. And he wasn't waiting because he didn't love them. In fact, he was waiting because he was determined to die for them. He didn't have to be convinced to die on the cross. He chose to die on the cross. John, uh, one last verse, John uh, 10. Uh, 17 and 18. Imam vlast dati ga, imam vlast opet ga uzeti. Takva je zapovjed koju sam primio od oca svoga. What we see in the story of Lazarus is this. Ono što vidimo u priči o Lazaru je sljedeće. Jesus was not a helpless victim who couldn't control things. Isus nije bio bespomoćna žrtva koja nije mogla, mogla utjecat na stvari. Who was crucified because he just couldn't help it. Koji su uh, razapeli zato što je bio bespomoćan. John shows us that he was determined to die on the cross. He waited his entire ministry saying it's not time yet. And then when Lazarus was sick he said no I only have to wait two more days. And then he said okay now it's time for me to be glorified. And he did a miracle that made sure that he would go to the cross. He died because he chose to. And he died so that he could forgive our sins. The more I think about that, the more amazing it is. And I remind myself that all I have to do is trust Him. Sometimes that's hard because I don't understand and I'm like Mary and Martha and I say, Jesus, but if you would do this but when I read this story I hear him say to me trust me I always know what I'm doing and I love you so much that I died for you that I chose to die for you. Let's pray. Father, thank you that um, you included this story in the Gospel. Thank you that we get to learn from the confusion and the frustration of Mary and Martha. And Father, help us when we're confused and frustrated to trust in you. 
I pomozi nam gospodine kad smo zbunjeni i frustrirani da ti vjerujemo. Because you are greater. Jer si veći. And you are more wise than we could ever know. I mudriji nego što ćemo ikad spoznati. And thank you that you chose Lord Jesus to die for us. I hvala ti gospodine Isuse što si odlučio umrijeti za nas. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.